Having an emergency operations plan in place prior to a disaster is integral to a rural community's ability to effectively respond and recover from an incident. These plans describe the roles and responsibilities of emergency responders and officials, identifies resources to be utilized in the response, and outlines measures that are essential for protecting the public during a disaster. Rural community response to emergency situations has many unique challenges, such as smaller response teams, the distance between departments, personnel, substandard or inefficient equipment, and funding. To help rural communities meet the challenges of planning for natural and man-made disasters, the RDPC offers Management 383, Emergency Operation Plans for Rural Jurisdictions. This eight-hour course certified by the U.S. Department of Homeland Security is provided free of charge to qualifying rural jurisdictions. The MGT 383 course uh, is all about development of emergency operations plans for rural jurisdictions or jurisdictions uh, who may be smaller or have smaller populations within them. Uh, it addresses some of the specific needs uh, that those organizations might have, whether it be smaller uh, numbers of personnel, shortages in funding, uh, or uh, widespread geographic regions uh, that some of their urban counterparts don't have to face. It, it utilizes the central principles enclosed in the uh, CPG 101 that was put out by FEMA and Department of Homeland Security uh, and incorporates those principles along with those extra nuances that rural or lower population jurisdictions uh, might face. Well, I think the MGT 383 course is a, is a great opportunity, not just for the, the practitioners, the department heads, the chiefs, the fire, the police chiefs, the public works and directors, but also for the elected officials. I know we have an elected official, at least one elected official in our class now, and it's great to show them the things that uh, their department should be uh, considering. Um, it's, emergency management's pretty new to most of the elected officials, but it's a big responsibility that they, that they bear. Um, so the, there's good tools that they're learning and the importance of having these emergency operations plans. Um, it's, a, it's, it's a good reminder that they need to bring these ideas back to their departments and get their people working on it. We did a, uh, an evaluation on our town to determine that our village is actually cut in half by a railroad. and. We knew that we had to start to think about uh, emergency operations on both sides of the village. So we need to have a plan in place for that. Um, recently, uh, the Canadian National Railroad came through. So now our trains have over 125 cars on them. And that can be anywhere from, we can see if it's moving slow, it can be a half an hour before that train gets through town. We have a school on one side, we have uh, an elderly community on the other. So if our officers are on one side, where the fire department's located on one side versus the other, so a true operational plan need to be put in place. And that's what we started to do, that's what we're in the middle of doing. And with that, we've de developed an operations center. So um, that's kind of, and anything we can do to get help in putting that whole plan together uh, is beneficial, that's why we're here today. Throughout the course, participants of Management 383 will learn about the planning process, the three types of plan formats, the basic contents, and integral components of an emergency operations plan. What I plan to take away from this course is a better understanding of the emergency operation plans within our structure and also the emergency operation plans within the county. Um, our hospital system is an integral part of the McHenry County uh, emergency plan and looking at both of those structures and working with both of these facilities I think will be a, a huge benefit. Our municipality already has an emergency operating plan but this one was a little unique because it seemed to me as though it was geared more towards the smaller communities and, and there's more options there than I realized. Once I got into this management class, I could see that there was this form or that form or this thing or that thing that you could incorporate into a plan that you might not have been thinking of or rather being so strictly defined in other courses dealing with emergency operating plans that don't show you these options that are there. So that was uh, my primary motive for coming in to see what other options are available. The goal of Management 383 is to give rural emergency operations planners the tools to apply what they have learned to real life situations. They will also be able to make educated decisions during the planning process and have the knowledge necessary to make the planning process quicker and easier. Our village has been pretty proactive as far as emergency management uh, and developing an emergency operations plan and 
updating it uh, you know, as we go. So it's a good confirmation uh, going through the instruction here to see uh, some of the things that we have had uh, are some of the things that we should have been considering all along. It's kind of re reaffirming our, our progress. Well, I think that if you have any plan of putting together an operational plan and you want to work with both state, federal, and local government, a class like this is truly beneficial in regards to keeping everybody on the same page. One logical step for participants in the MGT 383 course uh, would be to move on to take the PER 294 course, which deals with exercising those emergency operations plans and utilizing those exercises to test the plans in emergency operations center environments. Uh, it enables us to be able to look at those plans that have been newly created and put those through a series of tests or exercises that really help them to see if there are any gaps or needs that were not addressed in their plan, find out the strengths and weaknesses of those plans, and it really flows very logically into a nice uh, process to enable you to ensure that you have the strongest plan possible for your community. For more information on Management 383, Emergency Operations Plans for Rural Jurisdictions, visit www.ruraltraining.org or call 1-877-855-RDPC.